Let's delete all day events from your iPhone calendar. Now, if you're on your iPhone calendar and you have a specific event that shows up as all day, I'm gonna walk you through some steps to get that removed. Now let's hop into the calendar here and there are a couple different examples. One is I have this all day event called have fun. So I can just tap on it and at the very bottom I can just hit delete and delete event. So that's pretty easy to remove that event. But keep in mind, this is a specific event that I created. There's some calendars where you cannot delete that all day event. For instance, here is tax day. So I can tap on it and it doesn't give me the ability to delete this all day event. I can also go into a different person. Basically, I can see this birthday here and it doesn't give me the ability to delete that specific birthday on there. And that's because some calendars have all day events that don't let you delete them. So if you tap on calendars at the bottom center, you can see a couple different things. One is under Gmail is holidays here. And if you wanted to delete that specific holiday like tax day, you have to just uncheck that so that it won't show up in your calendar. The same thing goes for any kind of birthdays. If I scroll down here, you can see I have birthdays checked. If I just uncheck all of the birthday calendars on here, it won't pop up with any of those all day events for birthdays. I can always just go in there and manually add them in again if I wanted to. Now, if you go through all of these steps and it still is not working, you're not able to remove that all day event. You can always hop out of here, open up your settings. Oh, let me go back, tap on your name at the very top and then tap on iCloud and we'll hit show all. Now on here, you can see calendars midway down. We're just going to toggle that off hit delete from my iPhone and then toggle it back on that will resync all of your calendar information back from your iCloud onto your iPhone and help to restore everything if there's any kind of bug causing any of those events to not be able to be deleted in your iPhone calendar. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.